come out. Just come up to the, the just line off. Yes, line off here. I didn't realize there was so much of you. Wow, that's a blessing. Come on. Huh? That's a blessing. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. All right, just line up, line up, line up, line up all the way. Ushers, just help them out. need to be fully aware of what the Lord's Supper is and the, the true significance of the Lord's Supper and why we do it. Not many persons understand the, the, the fullness of it. Not many persons understand why we do it. As I said, we've been in church for years and there are persons who just come yes. and they just come and know that, listen, this is something that they do, but it's not something that they fully and truly understand. So we are hoping tonight that with proper knowledge, God's people would be edified um, about what this entire thing really is. When you're coming to the Lord's table, it exposes your sins because it causes you to do a deep introspection. Even if you're not doing this all through the year, when you come to the Lord's supper, everybody look deep, take the searchlight, and start to shine. Why? Because you know that you're coming to be a guest at the Lord's table. You, everybody. Yes. After you've examined yourself and you know that you're at the place that you should be. And guess what? Even if you're not at the place where you should be, it is the place for you to come to receive strength. Put your hands together for the Lord, everybody. He's using the bread and the wine tonight to let you understand that the bread represents his broken body. Oh, glory to God. He, he, the, the bread represents his sacrifice. The body that they spit on. The body that they beat. Glory to God. The body that suffered was nailed on the cross. The bread represents that. So when you touch the bread tonight, you are actually touching his body in a spiritual sense. And just as how when you eat naturally, it nourishes your body. And when you drink naturally, it nourishes your body. In the spiritual sense, when you eat of his flesh and you drink, glory to God, of his it is nourishing, renewing, revitalizing your spiritual life. And this is why this service is so important. Put your hands together for the Lord. I tell you, and I, I, I tell you, because of how we were raised, I'm being honest, a lot of us were raised to just be fearful when we are at the Lord's Supper. You feel like if you spill the Lord's blood. Oh my Lord, what did I just do? Eh? You try to not cough, you just did it. And you hold the little cup and you make sure say you hold the bread and you hold it and then you try. Me don't know about you, but me try to catch that spirit in the back. I don't want the cup to shake any at all. That's a wrong spirit. That's a wrong attitude. We should not come to the Lord's Supper and come out fearful and worried since it is a time when we should yes be observing ourselves but we should come with confidence and boldness knowing that this is a place that is going to give us strength and what we are doing is honoring the lord put your hands together 26. Sorry, matthew 26, and 26 26 since there's something that you probably miss i want you to listen and listen good hear this now and as they were eating stop there sir and as they were eating a lot of people miss that part and as they were eating go ahead now jesus took bread mm -hmm. and blessed it mm -hmm. and break it all right so so it is indicating now that there was some eating happening that was not the lord's body and his blood are you following me, everybody? This is pointing out clearly that there was a meal 
that was taking place while they were eating. Now, as I said, we're going through because we want you to understand. First Corinthians eleven twenty three 23 to 29. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered Hallelujah. unto you, that Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks... Father, we honor you tonight. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. We thank you for your grace, hallelujah. your mercy, hallelujah. and your divine favor. Oh, so I cherish the unrugged cross. Hallelujah. Till my throne. says as often as you eat and drink you do show forth his death till he comes eating and drinking all of it oh, Jesus rise from supper he laid aside his garment took down and won his disciples feet in the night. Oh. 